If you're looking to use video to get more visibility to your business, then of course, short form content is the way to go. So today we're talking about whether you should be using YouTube shorts or Instagram reels. Let's get right into it. If you're new here, my name is Liz and I help coaches and consultants add video to their business. Be sure to subscribe so that you never miss any of my future content. Now this debate could go on for a hundred years because people will always be torn about which is better. YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, Facebook reels, TikTok, video pins on Pinterest. This list goes on. If you are looking to get visibility to your business and you want to use video, then the reason that we say that you should focus on short form content like reels and TikTok and all of that is because those are the type of videos that actually get a lot of traction within these social platforms. Once you get people looking at your short form content, the whole goal of that is that now they are aware of your brand and they will check out the rest of the content that you have. That's the entire purpose of it. So today what we're talking about is whether you should be putting your attention on the short form YouTube shorts or Instagram reels, because both of them are really good options, but they both have different intentions behind it. So let's talk about what that might be. Now, remember, there's so many different reasons why a person might be trying to create videos. People who are known as creators, they are typically creating content so that they can build their influence and then monetize that content. On the other hand, if you are a coach or a consultant or a small business owner, then usually you would be trying to use video to build your brand so that you can actually convert them into leads. So that means warm audiences that are one day ready to buy from you. So that is actually a completely different line of thinking. Yes, you can still use the same type of video formats that creators use, but your goal for using that video should actually be helping to drive your decisions around it. If you're trying to decide between YouTube shorts or Instagram reels, then first you should be deciding whether you want to be putting out more of your long form content on YouTube or on Instagram. It may be the case that you want to do both, but you should definitely have a clear winner between the two as to where you think your audience is actually hanging out. For me, even though I am building an active Instagram account, I know 100% that in fact, most of my paying customers have found me either through Facebook or through YouTube. That is how most of them have ended up in my world. They've ended up on my email list subsequently, and then I've been able to continue the relationship with them. The number of clients that I've actually converted from Instagram is significantly less than that of YouTube and Facebook. So for this reason is why I concentrate on building up my YouTube channel. I'm very regular about posting long form content like the one that you're watching right now on YouTube. Whereas on Instagram, I post all sorts of other content as well. And then once in a while I post maybe a one or two minute video. So why am I saying all this? Now imagine somebody came across your YouTube short and they thought, wow, this is interesting. Let me go check out the rest of the channel. And there was nothing there. So this is something to keep in mind. The only reason you need to really be using YouTube shorts is if you are intending on building out your YouTube channel with active content. So if people look at your shorts and then they check out the rest of your channel, there should actually be stuff there for them to look at. We're not talking about one upload a month. We're talking about consistent, regular, long form content. This is how you can maximize YouTube shorts. You're actively getting their attention using the short, and then you are driving that attention towards your longer form content. When they check out your long form content is when you will be able to ascertain if this is the right audience for you, because somebody who is only interested in watching your 20 second short, but they won't stick around to watch your five minute YouTube probably is not going to invest in you as a coach or a consultant. If they've only liked your shorts, then it's probably because they just like the look and feel of the shorts or they like the, mu the music that you used behind it, or it could be for one of those type of reasons, for the entertainment factor. But if they're not willing to take that a step further and actually dig through your channel, look at your other videos, watch them in their entirety, possibly subscribe, then that's probably not the type of person that is going to convert into a warm lead or even a paying customer down the line. So this is something really to pay attention to. So the only reason you want to be building YouTube shorts is if you intend on building your YouTube channel and converting clients there. 
On the other hand, if you feel that you have more people looking at your Instagram account and you are actively putting out content there that is geared towards your audience, people seem to be looking at that content, engaging with it, sending you DMs, all of that, then yes, Instagram Reels is absolutely the place for you to be. Because the principle is the same as what we said with YouTube Shorts. People will bump into your Reel, they'll learn about your brand, they'll realize that you exist as an entity, and then they will check out the rest of your account. So if the rest of your account has other things that's of interest to them, they will follow you and then continue to build that relationship. On the other hand, what if you don't have any other content on your Instagram account? What if you post once a month or just very sporadically and it's all random stuff that actually can't give the client an idea of what your account is about? If that's the case, then why do you want their attention from Reels? There's nothing that you can do with it. So this is why I'm saying think about what is your goal in the first place. Is it to convert people with a very comprehensive YouTube channel or is it to convert people using a very comprehensive Instagram account? Now we're interrupting this video so that I can remind you to subscribe. I think you should do that first. And if you're interested in getting started with video sooner rather than later, then I've got a great free resource for you. Just click on the link in the description below and I will send it off to you right away. Now let's get back to our video. Now here's one thing to remember. You might be posting YouTube shorts or you might be posting Instagram reels and getting tons of views on them. And then that might make you feel like, wow, I've really got something going on here. Consider for your fact that if you're a business owner and you're posting this and then people are not actually engaging with the rest of the account and they're not following or subscribing or DMing you or trying to click on your link in bio and download something, if they're not taking that next first logical step, then that probably is not someone who is going to translate into a paying customer down the road. Those are people who have probably come across your YouTube shorts or your Instagram reels just because it was entertaining for them. It came across their scroll when they were scrolling and scrolling and then they found something interesting about it and so they probably liked it, for example. Or they viewed it and then that counted as a view there. So we're not as interested in views as we are in the step that somebody takes after the view. That's what actually determines if they are headed towards the journey of being a warm lead for you. Now a quick word about hashtags if you're familiar with using them. What I've noticed is that hashtags are a really hit or miss game on Instagram. If you create a reel and then you use 15 different hashtags there, it may or not help you get any traction on that reel. On the other hand, I've noticed that the YouTube Shorts hashtags are actually pretty good. Even if you just use three hashtags that are quite targeted, People who are following those hashtags will absolutely see your reel and you will get a lot of traction there. So this is one real advantage I've noticed about YouTube. YouTube, unlike Instagram, is happy to show your content to people. Instagram always has this finicky algorithm around it and then picks and chooses whether somebody might want to see your stuff. So this is one real drawback. But of course, before you do either one of these things, you're keeping in mind your higher goals for that channel. Now, as with everything else in the content creation world, it is really hard for me to say that you should absolutely focus on YouTube Shorts or absolutely focus on Instagram Reels. It depends on where you want to build the account, build the audience and try to get your leads from. It depends on where you think your audience is hanging out. If you've done market research and you found out that most of your paying clients or your audience doesn't actually use Instagram that much, then why in the world would you be focusing all of your attention there? So that's another reason that you might want to consider YouTube because YouTube is one of those platforms that is universally used by everybody. It's not really demographic specific. Practically everyone from every age is following YouTube for some reason or other. However, it is always the best practice to test everything. Be willing to create these vertical form videos and then post the same video to YouTube shorts and to reels. The music selection will be different because the YouTube audio library and the Instagram library are different. So use different music. That's totally fine. Use your hashtags and then add a caption and then just test them both and just see what happens. Of course, you have to do this type of testing for about two weeks or so just to let everything sort of sync up and pair up and just get into a flow. The algorithms everywhere have to recognize what it is that you're doing. But from that, you can get a sense of whether your content might be performing better in either one of these places. Remember, if it is performing well in one of these places and the viewers are looking for more of your content on that channel or on that account, then you have to have that ready to give them. 
don't just be posting YouTube shorts without actually putting any other videos there because you're not going to gain anything from that experience. Now, one quick hack or bonus tip that I will give you is this. I would recommend that you create two free resources. One of those resources is one that you are only going to promote on your YouTube shorts. So in your caption or somewhere you can put text on the screen or whatever and tell people that they can download this from the description and only promote it there. Don't promote it on Instagram or to your email list or anywhere else in the world. So that way, whenever anybody downloads that, you know that it is directly because of the YouTube short that you have gotten that new lead into your system. Similarly, do the same thing with Instagram. Create a free resource and only promote it on Instagram in your link in bio. So whenever you create a reel, ask people to click the link in your bio and grab that free resource and don't promote that anywhere else. So this type of an exercise will make it really clear to you as to whether you have people watching your YouTube shorts who are taking the next step by clicking somewhere and then downloading something and becoming a lead. It is so important to know that. Or they might be doing that on Instagram. When you start comparing these numbers, you'll be able to see where the warm leads are. At that point, you're not just looking at the number of views, these random people who are out in the world. You are actually looking at the people who are on these two platforms and which one of these groups is actually prompting people to take the next step with you. This will help you decide whether you should be focusing your attention more on shorts or on reels. So if you like this video, I hope that you will give it a like, share it off with one of your friends. Don't forget to subscribe because every single Tuesday I bring you a new video teaching you how you can add video to your business. So until next time, take care.